Hello all you beautiful people out there, my name is Emmanuel and welcome to the second episode of the third season of Retail Tycoon 2. I need to explain to you a little bit of information because uh, a lot of people have been asking me about the second money guide. And yes, there will be an updated money guide, but it does take a little bit of time. Uh, it takes a long, long time to test stuff and it also takes some time to fi figure out a new layout. As you might know, they have recently updated furniture up to several times, so I sit here with an option. With two different options. The updated money guide could either be a money guide focusing only on money and how you can become rich in a game, or it could be a guide where it focuses on the same things but also applies a, the best strategy or a good strategy to earn money in the game. As you know, furniture was a great strategy and, and at that time the best way to earn money in the game it might still be, I'm not quite sure, haven't tested it out recently. But if it is, then I would then do the same thing over again. But my question is, do you want a money guide or do you want a full guide around money? Comment it down below, honestly. I really I need your opinions because it is very important. And also take into notice that the video is not only for the most interested players, but also for the average player who would click on the video on YouTube, like the the most watched video, if you understand what I mean, which video you would have watched if you didn't know the YouTuber. Anyways, I have been speaking a way too long for now, but enjoy the video. Okay, let's go. So, they will th wait. Decoration shelter. So, uh, now you might ask, why is the decoration and the shelter very poorly rated? Well, it is mainly because I don't have any items in my store. Huh? I don't have any items in my store. That sounds weird. So why is the decoration poorly rated then? Well, and the shelter poorly rated because I do have a nice looking store and I do have decoration, right? Well, if I move over to the build menu over here, I can check on decoration and I can see that decoration covers greatly within these areas of where you go or walk out of the car and when you enter the store. But uh, as you could see, this rubber over here was walking around here because I didn't have any items uh, stocked in the store at all. So when there's no items stocked, they would just walk randomly around, right? The rubber didn't have anything to steal, so she just ended up walking around here randomly. And as you then can see, the decoration rating is worse here than inside the store. So if she is walking around here, she would think, oh, the decoration is bad. <laughs> Of course, it's bad. She's just walking on grass out of nowhere. She's not even in the store. But as you could know, customers are always very difficult to deal with. So the customers will complain even though we don't have decoration around here. So the same goes for Shelter because she was walking around the outside, around the grass, where there were no ceiling and no store at all. She still thinks that there should be a ceiling and a store around this. So in theory, you could build a entire huge box with a ceiling above and walls around it or whatever you're gonna do and they are going to be happy. Well that doesn't make any sense but that's just how the game works. I do think the developers could fix that to be honest. It is... it might be a bit difficult to fix, I don't know how it works but in all honesty you should not complain about shelter when you're literally walking around the grass. Well, enough about complaining about the game mechanics, let's just actually buy some more small electronics. Do you, Okay, so you might ask, why do I uh, buy electronics instead of buying something like uh, furniture? Well, it's basically because uh, furniture is very expensive and in order to actually get a good furniture start these days you kind of need to do some tech use some techniques and yes i could show you the technique it is more exclusive to the money guide to be honest but um that's not like the main issue the main issue is that you kind of get sick of doing too much furniture in, at the time so why not just sell something else that also works well and you're happy ever after Why? So, um, surprise, surprise, Mr. Emanuel has forgotten to load the car uh, yet again, a second time, and he has to drive down again to get his boxes. 
You know, when I'm talking about other things, I just can't focus on what I was actually doing. Multitasking is something I've figured out to be really bad at. So, if you ever need someone to multitask for you, uh, don't ask me. Come on, there we go. <sighs> okay, where were I? What was the... Yes, furniture. Furniture is, of course, a great way to earn money. I am 100% sure that we would have earned more money if we would sell furniture by this point. But, as I said, it is a lot more fun to sell different items and just enjoy the game. In fact, when you just enjoy the game, you will find a lot more joy in actually playing it rather than being focused on doing everything perfectly. That doesn't sound like me. Uh, if you ask my friends, they can relate to what I just said, that it doesn't sound like me. Uh, but it's just how I think it is. Like, uh, if you don't enjoy the games, well, why play them, right? You you're there to enjoy them, so... And yes, uh, one more thing I could say. This statue, you could switch it out with a fountain. I believe it would, would do about... Give you about four, five star rating, star rating as well, so it won't be too much of a difference. Hey, we have a huge family. Oh, she wants phones. Okay, then. Phones, 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 buy the phones. She can only afford one of them, though, but who cares? You want to get that computer? See, here you can see an example of... Okay, so nobody wants a, wants a tablet, therefore I will just give them a computer instead. Mm. So, as you could see over there, where where was he? Um, this guy. He wanted this... Uh, is that like the paper thing you put paper in and it like destroys it, right? Uh, I don't know what you call it, but... Wait, did he... Did this guy just afford two computers with $700? Okay, um, but yeah, so we are already rich, that's great. Now, where were I again? Yes, he had this paper cut thing, so if I go to store inventory, wait, did I still complain about shelter? Really? If you go to the store inventory, you can move over, no, wait, you can move over down here to office electronics. He wanted a shredder. Well, why didn't he want the shredder? Well, it's just... It's because of the exact same thing I said earlier, because the reason to why you wanted a shredder is because I sell electronics, right? And a shredder is below office electronics, which is goes into the category electronics. Every category you sell, they will expect and whatever items, but that is like, yeah, what can I say? Under the category or you understand what I mean? So. Whatever type of item you sell, or category you sell, you can say, you know, say boxed food. So you sell cereal, great, it's a cereal store, but they also, oh, snacks? Yo, it's Pringles, oh. Uh, wait, you can sell chips on, okay, that's cool. I, I didn't know you could sell, okay, okay. You learn new things every single day, that's great. See, video games. And he wanted to offer some other things. But yeah, that's just the example I was trying to give you. People do want different types of items. And well, let's see if they will take some iPhones. Smartphones, I mean. He couldn't afford everything he wanted. Well, pity. Take the tablet, come on. Take the tablet. No one could afford a tablet. What? What? <laughs> I feel scammed. He, he, he walked up to my checkout register and was like, Hello? No, I couldn't afford anything. What's going on in the chat here? Wait. Actual numbers without saying tags? Hmm, that's new. These people do look very suspicious. You wanted a tablet? No idea, nine dollars. <laughs> Poor kid. 
yeah so we're just sitting here we're waiting for the next sellout i think and then we're gonna end the video there because this will like be the introduction of the video we just got a new storm up and going and that's about it that will be the video i think while we're waiting for these people to buy stuff he left kind of quickly that i was a bit suspicious he didn't steal anything or what mm. okay he bought the tablet great because we can go over here no i'm sorry we could go over to the managed store and we can no i mean settings and stats item stolen is zero that's great uh, interesting fact by the way we actually <laughs> we actually had we have served equal amounts of customers as there have been robbers <sighs> Ooh. Nice. What do you want? Nothing, you poor. But yeah. Where where was I? Well, finance rep. When selling expensive items, you kind of do need a finance rep. So if you're selling furniture, for example, in the beginning. Well, here's the thing. Selling the full category of furniture, you kind of do have a lot of different price prices, to say it like that. Electronics. Yeah, well, electronics, there's so many items that you kind of can't afford that one, that entire category in the beginning, but furniture is actually kind of great. Although they have added game tables, which is a bit difficult, and you kind of don't need game tables since you have small furniture, but that's fine. They added the game tables. I don't like it, but um, they did. Let's take the iPad, and I will give the other guy his computer. Thank you very much. Take your computer, mister. Alright, so yeah, we're, I was talking about the uh, furniture adding game tables. I don't really... Uh, no, well, it's cool. Is that really furniture though? Mm, no, I don't think so, but fair enough. That's a rubber. He was suspicious. He has literally just five dollars. Did he just afford... Okay, so... The... Hey. Well, how much trash does people... He's a robber! He looks suspicious. I had a feel. I had a hunch. I should be like this kind of new James Bond person. Okay, so she has $700, but she's just browsing. In theory, that means that she will go around and buy the computer because, well, yeah. Well, she will buy it anyways, so let's just close the store real quick. She has bought it, and that will be about it. Can, can I? Can I? Uh, there we go. Close the door, mister. And they still complain about shelter, which I personally do not understand at all. I believe they complain about shelter because they are walking over here, which, well, what do they see here? They can see a, they can see a floor, but they can't see any ceiling this is basically another example of what why this game is a bit weird but that doesn't matter that's fine my has it just turned off again wait two seconds so um where was i yes they want this these kind of awnings maybe or maybe just get some tiles in the second floor here and just build a roof like literally cost 116 dollars and boom now I've added a roof. Well, what's gonna happen? Well, they will not at least complain that there is not any shelter. And I could, in theory, move the statue outside because if you look at the decoration, it will still cover the entire store very well. So it doesn't really matter. Now I will just run down to the, um, the loadout station thing again and I will buy more electronics. I now have six grind as we say in the with some slang word kind of stuff so and now that will be about it for today's video these new helicopter things a really cool add-on to the game i kind of find it really cool that they actually decided to add different types of um, hmm. yeah i can't even speak at the moment i find it really cool that they decided to add uh, flying vehicles as well that's really cool it makes the game a little bit more varied of some kind it's varied in some way because you actually can drive or like i mean fly to the store this time instead of driving because driving can be a bit boring and repetitive after some time 
But before we end the video, I just forgot to explain what I was talking about when it was talked about furniture. But when I think about it, I can just tell it next time. And, and you know what? This is the third time I forgot to load my truck before going to, to the store. I just really do love my memory and my ability to multitask at this moment. At least I am better at driving than this other guy. You know, there's just some things in life, you know, in my defense, I don't have any defense in my, in my opinion, I have forgotten it three times now. You usually say third time's a charm, that, does that mean that third time's is the last time, right? Someone will never forget again, I hope it's, I hope so. But, um, where was I? Yes, in my defense, I am kind of used to, um, automatic stuff doing things for me i'm like um what can you say i'm a little bit of a rich kid you know i have uh, drivers and stuff you know delivery drivers driving literally tesla cyber trucks no not cyber trucks tesla semis trucks i mean okay but um uh, let's stock the shelves and say goodbye for now Next video, we will do the same thing as we did today. We will start selling a little bit more electronics. We now have got a little bit of a selection here. So we will actually soon be able to actually fill up the shelves instead of being a poor store, actually just have, affording like two electronics and stuff like that. Now we can actually afford a little bit more and maybe we could actually expand our parking lot as well because it's kind of small. It will, that will make our store a little bit more efficient. Our decoration is about perf perfect, I hope. Our crowdness is perfect. It might actually go down um, if we get more parking slots, but that will be up to a time. Queue sizes will never be any problem because we sell expensive items. That's the reason to why you sell expensive items in the beginning because, or in general, because they are just giving you a lot easier time. They both earn you more money and they are just so much easier. You like you they take up less space like electronics. No, they take up no space. You can you can buy everything at the same time. Furniture on the other hand, you can't. But as I explained in the money guide, you actually do earn more money with furniture by instant purchasing it. So that's that's that I guess. But yeah, as I said, small electronics or I mean a large items are so much easier because you will never get any queue sizes because you sell so few of them anyway because like yeah well let's just be you an example you sell one computer or a laptop i mean for 700 dollars but you sell snacks for 15. well my quick maths tell me that you need to sell around 47 snacks in order to actually earn the same amount of that than small electronics i mean a laptop so now you have got a um what can i say a little bit of a uh, compare it's okay 47 snacks and one laptop where's the queue sizes of course the snacks so therefore you sell large items because you will never struggle with queue sizes anyways thank you very much so Ah, uh, let's go ex exit the store. <clears throat> okay, Alice, I'm a bit fat, so I just can't get out of the corner. But, so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It might be a bit long. I am aiming for around 15 minutes of gameplay. That's like, at least what I thought would be fun when actually making some sort of um, gameplay videos. Of course, I can kind of just play for a while and just divide it up the videos. If you think that's a good idea, I guess just comment it down below. I don't know, but... At least what I thought is that I actually make um, uh, I mean, individual videos, like saying hello every single time you get a new video and say goodbye every single time the video ended. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you want more videos like this one, uh, good guides. And also I'm aiming for some um, variety gameplay. So if you want variety, uh, new games to play and stuff like that, comment them down below. And also subscribe to the channel if you want more fun gameplay. Because I'm the funniest guy you ever met, right? <laughs> I don't know about that one, but that doesn't matter. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.